everybody, Jen here with week two of Safe Harbor at Home. I'm thrilled to be here to do an art activity with you guys. So this week's theme is all about memories. So memories are something that's really important um, that we go over a lot at Safe Harbor. It's an important piece as you move forward without a significant person in your life. Um, memories are an opportunity for for us to keep them alive in our hearts and a way to share about them um, and just something that we can carry with us as you move forward in this sort of new normal. Um, so today we are going to create what I like to call memory collages. Um, so you can do this on your own or you could do this as a family, whichever you prefer. Um, and I'm going to go over very quickly with, um, I did more um, of an explanation in the description on this video, but really quickly, I'll go over, um, these are the materials that you're going to want to grab. Okay, so you can pause this and grab them if you want. All right, so one of the important pieces for this particular activity um, is that you will want to have paper that's a little bit thicker because that just keeps your paper from wrinkling a lot. So you could use cardboard or poster board. Um, if, if you have something thicker, great. If not, it's not the end of the world. Okay, so you can go ahead and read all the other items that you'll need. Um, but one, um, one thing I wanna mention before I move forward. Um, so we're talking a lot about memories, but in some cases, uh, some people may not have a lot of memories of their person. Perhaps they were young or that person wasn't in their life a lot. Um, so in that case, what I want you to focus on is what you feel that they would want you, how you would they would want you to move forward in your life. So something more like just positive things that bring you joy, you can create a collage around that, okay? So the first thing you're gonna wanna do after you have your paper is you're going to want to collect like a little bird, you wanna go ahead and collect all these items for your collage. So you're gonna to wanna to collect mementos. So like photographs, maybe there are notes with their handwriting on them, um, but you wanna make sure you copy all of those, okay? So you don't wanna use any originals because you're going to be gluing them down. Okay, and then you wanna get magazines or catalogs or anything like that that have words in them, words and other images, and you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and cut all of those out and kind of place them all around your paper. And then you can start to kind of put those items onto your paper and glue them down. Um, and this is a wonderful thing to do all together as a family, if it's possible. Um, or of course you can do it on your own. So, um, so you're gonna wanna go ahead and glue all those item da items down. And then once they're dry, you can always add with marker or paint or anything like that. You can add over top, maybe with some color um, or anything else you wanted to add. It's really endless, however you wanna do this. There's no right or wrong, I always like to say. So just enjoy it, enjoy this time to bring those memories in and maybe you all can talk about them as you do it. Okay, and then this is something maybe you can display and you can look at it whenever you feel like you might need to remember your person or you can go ahead and pack it away in a drawer and bring it out when you need to. Um, however you want to do it, just enjoy. Please leave a comment um, if you want or show us your images when you're done. I'd love to see. All right, take care and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.